Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Tonight we're going to look uh, into how we can find our own uh, external IP address. There's there are a lot of ways, so let us just get started right now. I'm using Linux, and let me just clear this box right here. I found a, I found a cool article actually. Okay, first of all, the first way you can actually find this, there are web pages like this one. What is my IP? You go in there, and then you can see right now my IP location is Brussels. That's because I'm using VPN. I'm using a Proton VPN, uh, but I'm not paid by them at all. Uh, it's just uh, the VPN that, that I'm using. I've, I've made another video if you want to see my review of the uh, Proton VPN. And then there's a lot of other ways. I found this cool article here, right here. And, and the reason why we want our external IP address is usually that we want to whitelist ourselves uh, so we can access some kind of server that we have somewhere. And then we can add to Nginx uh, that we want to whitelist, that, that, that if it's this IP address, then it is okay. Uh, especially if it's a static IP address. If your IP address uh, changes a lot, then usually you can pay something from your internet provider and then you can get a static ip address um of course you could if it, if it only changes like every three months then you of course you can you can change that of course but then uh, in theory another person would actually be allowed to access your server if that uh, other person that gets your uh, ip has yeah if, if he, he she has, has your ip address but uh, this article right here techment it was it's quite awesome uh, it shows us four different ways of how to, to get the IP. One is to use the tool, DIG, Domain Information uh, Grouper. So let us copy this one right here. Then we access it through um, resolve one at opendns.com. So let us just try to paste this command right here and I get this IP address right here. Cool, it works. Nice method, very, very nice method. Then there's another method right here where we use the host command and uh, then we're using a lot of pipes. So we pipe it and we grab for uh, my open uh, DNS com has so that that is the text that we are looking for. Let's see if that works. Yes, it also works. Then we can use uh, wget. Then we can use wget. Get the same results. And then we can use curl. Curl if uh, if uh, config that uh, me now, of course there's a lot there's a lot of places where you can use curl and you where you can communicate and then it would like to return to you the your external ip address amazon also has one uh, know that um okay but what if you end up in a system where you don't have curl or you don't have any of these tools right here then of course you can use docker and i found this awesome Docker image right here, curl images slash curl. So if you if you don't have access to curl, maybe you are running inside a continuous uh, delivery uh, container. Maybe you're running inside a Jenkins uh, Docker container and there's no curl. Curl is not, has not been installed there and you're not allowed to install curl, but you're allowed to run Docker commands. Then you can use this curl image right here and it has been downloaded 1 billion plus times. So it has been used a lot, you can see that. Um, yeah, and I, I think to see image, it, it is it's quite cool. It does it does what it's, uh, it's supposed to do. That's actually it, uh, and it's based on Alpine, so it's very small. And uh, yeah, the latest version is seven seventy eight dot o. I've already downloaded it. Uh, I made a pull before um, before make before, before starting recording. So we I already have this uh, image right here. But I want to run Docker run, and then I want to use that image right there. Then I want to run the command curl and then I have config.me like this and then I should get my IP address right there. So it's pretty awesome, it's cool. And that's actually it. Let me just show you Proton VPN just for fun. We can just change it to something else to something else. Italy. Let us go to Italy, connect. I like the UI. It's a pretty cool UI. And then we actually we actually get the IP address in the, in the corner right there. So it ends on 148. Let's try to run this again. See which IP, IP address you now have. Now we have 148 in the end. So that's pretty cool. And that is actually what I want to show you tonight. Have a great evening. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.